Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up your online store. If you've ever felt intimidated by the number of options out there, trust me, you're not alone. And I'm here to help you with that. Now I'm sharing my opinions based on my personal experience. However, if at any point you'd like to check out Shopify for yourself, you can get a three day free trial and set up an online store for only $1 per month for the first three months by clicking the link in the description down below. So let's begin with the very first step in setting up your shop, which is defining your brand. So to define your brand, you first need to identify your niche, your target audience, and the products you want to sell. Although it may seem like there's a product for pretty much everything nowadays, as long as you find a unique angle, your business will thrive. For example, if you come from a relatively small neighborhood, well, you can identify a gap in the pet food niche and start selling vegan dog treats. It's all about how you market yourself once you identify your niche. And once you've chosen your niche and products, your target audience is clear, you're selling to vegans with dogs. Now that we've covered the first step, we can look into step two, choosing your e-commerce platform. Now, most platforms have similar base features when it comes to creating your online store, and you can usually start with creating a URL and uploading your logo. Now, if you don't already have a store name, so some platforms will let you use um, a placeholder so you can finish designing your store and listing your products. You can then purchase a customer domain later. Now, some platforms such as Shopify and Squarespace will create your logo for you when you purchase a plan with them. Otherwise, you can design a logo yourself using a website like Canva with several templates to choose from. All right, in the third step, that's when it's time to start with website themes and aesthetics of your website. This includes everything from the colors and fonts to the layout of the website pages. Now, everything you choose should reflect your brand value and niche while establishing your store as a competitive player in the industry. Let's take the vegan dog treat example. Since dogs inspired happiness and fun, choosing brighter colors with fun fonts will be the way to go. However, if you want to learn more into the vegan part, you can tune this down a little, keeping it fun and adding some pastel colors can make it stand out even more. Remember, the subtlest changes can impact how a customer views you. And that's why above everything, you must keep your aesthetic consistent across all your pages. Now, another important aspect to keep in mind is their adaptability. By then, I mean your website needs to be dynamic and responsive. Your theme needs to adapt to smartphones and mobile devices seamlessly. Now, while some e-commerce platforms build that feature into the themes, others require you to make a separate website. Remember, at the end of the day, usability is one of the best indicators of your online store. This refers to ease of use for both you and your customers. Features such as drag and drop store builders and responsive themes are good to look for. Plus, high quality web hosting is necessary for a successful online store. Web hosting services provide server space so that your online store appears on the website. Every e-commerce platform aims to be a web host. They also offer bandwidth and storage space for data and content. But some platforms put cuts on this while others allow you unlimited space with fast loading times ensured by compressing files. At first glance, these platforms can seem like the more expensive option, but you need to think of your online store in terms of what gives you the best bang for your buck. Personally, I always prioritize functionality over pricing because that's what will matter in the long run. It's also worth noting that most platforms let you set up an online store with a free trial and a discounted monthly rate if you get the annual plan. Once you've completed all these steps, congratulations. You're just two quick steps from launching. The first of which is to create product listing. Product listings are not only important because they give your customers an idea of what your product is about, but they also matter for SEO purposes. Search engine optimization or SEO is the strategy you need to use to get your store ranking higher in the search engine result page. If you search for vegan dog treats on Google right now, you're likely to see Amazon at the top of the page. As you scroll, you'll find more brands, all with vegan dog treats featured prominently in their titles and in the first few lines of the description in some way. You may even come across some recipes. These rank so high in the search because they view specific words as keyword phrases in their metadata, the Google scans and index websites according to these keywords. See, it's all SEO. And most platforms also 
offer third-party integrations and enable SEO analysis for websites. But only Shopify offers Yoast SEO integrations, and Yoast is one of the leading SEO analytics tools available today. The final step for your online store is making the checkout process for your customers as simple as possible. Most platforms offer numerous payment gateway options, allowing all kinds of debit and credit cards, as well as PayPal, Apple Pay, and Google Pay. They may even provide multi-currency checkouts and a physical point of sale POS integration. However, they usually collect a percentage of each transaction as fees for using third-party gateways. However, this is generally avoidable if you use the platform's own gateway. Now, everything I've discussed in this video is applicable for Shopify, which is the number number one e-commerce platform that meets all the criteria. Apart from having all three features, Shopify also gives you fraud analysis and automatically calculating tax. You can choose the best plan for your store and save up to 25% if you pay annually. You can get the basic Shopify plan for about $39 a month, the Shopify plan for $105 a month, or the advanced Shopify plan for $399 a month. Each tier unlocks new features with the advanced plan charging the lowest transaction fees, offering delivery and in-store pickup options, and advanced sales reporting. You can easily level up to a better plan as your business grows, making the process of scaling simple. All right, that's a wrap for today's video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. You can comment below if you have any questions. And remember, you can check Shopify out for a three-day free trial and then $1 per month for the first three months by clicking the link in the description down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.